So someone posted on Reddit, on the C programming subreddit, about a GUI project that they were going to do. And they say, can't get much help from anywhere, so decided to post here. We, in our first semester, have been given a GUI-based project, so we decided to make tic-tac-toe. It's supposed to be basic GUI, but we don't know how do we implement it in C. If any experienced person can help me in it. And I read this thread, <clears throat> read the people's suggestions as a Raylib and SDL2, which is what I will be using, by the way. Some people suggesting Xforms to do the GUI, another suggestion for SDL2. Not a lot of information really on this project. People are asking questions. Are there any guidance on what can be used in the project? The guy says, <clears throat> doesn't have to be a cool GUI, just a simple GUI, like in the 1960s or, or 90, 1960s or 70s, which doesn't tell very much, maybe. <clears throat> Another suggestion for SDL. One guy says, Google for GUI options for C. This guy says to use NCurses for the terminal or GTK for X11. Another suggestion for Raylib. Here's GTK. This guy seems a little bit like a bot, but we are gonna explore this little project regardless. Another guy here suggesting a simple text-based, uh, I don't know if you can call it a GUI, but text-based using the terminal. And I didn't reply to this thread, but I thought that recently I, I taught myself how to write, uh, write GUIs using what's called an immediate mode. It's just a technique for how to do a user interface in an application. <clears throat> it's so simple that you're, you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna think of it. You're, you're gonna think that you need a whole setup or a whole framework or whatever to do, uh, to do some, uh, to do a basic GUI, like in this case for tic-tac-toe. You're not gonna, you, you're not gonna realize how, how very simple you can make a GUI. So I decided I was gonna try this from scratch. Well, from scratch-ish, I'm going to use SDL. I'm going to show everything from the from the ground up. What I would do to do this in C. The first thing I would do is make a little project folder. Uh, GUI project. And we're going to be using SDL. And uh, getting a hold of the right, like, let's, let's have a look here. On how, you, uh, how you actually get a hold of SDL is a little can be a little bit confusing. We aren't going to be using SDL3 for this. We're going to be using SDL2. You'd normally come here and depending on which compiler you're using, you would download one of these. These two are for uh, Windows. This is for Visual, Visual Studio. No, Visual C++ for Visual Studio. This is sort of what we're going to be using, but we're not going to build it ourselves. We are actually going to download a finished build over here. There we go. This is the binary, the DLL that you need to be using SDL. This needs to be in your folder when you're running an SDL application. But we need more than this. We also need some uh, include headers to be using it in a, in a development project. This is important here. It says devil for development. We need this uh, lib in here. We need this one, this file. And here's the DLL that we just found somewhere else. And we need these uh, includes for our code. So what I usually do, um, I don't usually use the official repo here. I use uh, a more like up-to-date uh, automatic build of SDL2 that this guy set up. Let's go with this guy. I like using his, uh, his builds here. Uh, we're going to go download that. This newest one, we're downloading the x64, not the ARM. We're doing the Intel <clears throat> for our desktop PC. Uh, this guy does builds for for all the SDL libraries, including the satellite libraries, <clears throat> which is great. But all we need for our project is, is the SDL. Actually, let's make a little structure here lib putting that in there uh, we do need to use this extra lib here library called sdl2 main <clears throat> that's gone in uh, 
in SDL3, but we're using SDL2. So, and then we do the, we copy the include. <clears throat> so was that clear? I use the, the build here from, from Martins and made a little structure here to, to indicate that we're the architecture that we're using. The include looks like this. That's the whole folder. And then the lib x64. And these are the ones that we need in there. Okay. So this is our, this is the project folder so far. And uh, for this, I will be using CMake. And we started like this. Actually, I'm gonna go cheat a little bit. Look at my existing project to get some stuff that we need in here. This is the minimal CMake project. There we go. So this is the CMake lists in here. This this describes our project, the build, how we're gonna build our project. We're gonna call it GUI project. It's going to be called Tic Tac Toe, the executable. Probably just do a main file like this. We're, this this one's nice to add the Win32 if if you're actually making a Windows application because it it makes sure that a, a console window doesn't pop up uh, when all you're making is a is a GUI application. Uh, this line right here <clears throat> uh, includes <laughs> that sounds strange, but it includes the include folder into our project so that all our project knows to look in here. Uh, we are going to be using a separate SDL2 folder, even though that's not very common or not the way that you were supposed to use do that before, but in SDL3 they've changed it, so I'm sort of sticking to that right now. And we also need to link, uh, include our libraries here. <clears throat> so you can see those are linked. The main is supposed to come before the, the, the proper SDL2 library. Okay, what we're missing is a source folder with, oops, with the main file in it. Yes. So now <clears throat> I save this, see make lists. Well, let's just make sure this is right. Could we project tic-tac-toe? No, this one, this, these two need to be matching these two. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. These also need to be matching. All of this needs to be the same. Uh-huh. That looks good. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be using Visual Studio. So I'll actually just open this folder in Visual Studio. <clears throat> Visual Studio is going to detect the CMake lists file. There we go. You notice that it was a CMake list. See, now it's starting to make stuff in our folder, the dot vs for configuration and the out folder for uh, stuff that it produces. The build folder is in here. And <clears throat> what we need to do actually, see, it's, it's not this, the bin folder where the SDL DLL file, I'm going to copy that because I'm not going to set up Visual Studio to use a different uh, output directory. So what I do is I put, I put the SDL to DL, SDL2 DLL right here, because this is the folder that the, that the executable is going to be put in. <clears throat> okay. And now let's go look at our source. Here we go. Let's see that everything's working the way it should. This has already chosen our target. This, the Visual Studio has picked up from the CMake file. We have an error main already defined in oh this is uh because of uh, the main folder in let's see i know the main uh, function that uh, sdl overrides is there anything called main here so that works <clears throat> this one doesn't include the rest of sdl so we do need that as well there <clears throat> Our application runs and exits with 42. So that's it. That this is how you get 
a project up and running very quickly with Visual Studio. This is the C makelist file that you need. And this is what your main.c needs to look like. You have a C program going already. But now let's make a GUI, an immediate mode GUI actually. 